So yeah, I'm, I'm an actor in Los Angeles. Um, I know that's surprising. I'm unique. Um, and like 97% of the actors in this town, I am not famous. So when I meet people and tell them I'm an actor, they want me to prove it. They want me to like give them a verbal resume. They're like, oh really, you're an actor? What have you ever done? Anything I would have seen you in? And I'm like, I don't know, did you catch much regional theater in North Carolina in 2003? <laughs> turn it around on them though and be like, oh, you're a real estate agent? What houses have you sold? So yeah, I'm usually, I'm usually hired to cry and die on the television, or sometimes both, you know, they, seem, they go hand in hand. Uh, I think I'm going to write a biography called How to Make a Living at Dying because it's really all I do. Um, but dying on television is, is actually not such a bad gig to have, because I have a friend who's a doctor on television, and she gets people writing her all the time, saying things like, you know, I'm a doctor, that's not how you do that. I rarely have people writing her, <laughs> saying, I fell out of a burning building last week, and that is not how it went down. <laughs> My parents have seen me die 11 different ways. They have seen me uh, stabbed twice, strangled, drowned, uh, fallen and hit in my head, beaten to death, shot in the chest, and shot in the head. <laughs> my mom thinks it's very funny when I die on television, but particularly hilarious when I get shot in the head. <laughs> Actually, my last guest spot, um, I was killed by an African-American man, and my dad called me afterwards and was like, look, if you gotta go down, at least it was by a fellow brother. <laughs> That's my time, thanks so much. For